Some dreams seem more real than others, and some dreams are a glimpse of what's to come. Our journey starts here. A wipe I will never forget. The first thing I did, collect some stone and wood. I built a small base right here, just until I was ready to build the real thing. To get things going, I decided to farm the road and use the local gas station to recycle. I knew I wouldn't have the temporary base for long, but while I did, I wanted to get the best start I could. I wasn't planning on putting down a TC here because my goal was to get enough scrap to buy a lift and this spot wouldn't be good for a car. So my roadside farming continued. And eventually, I made a run all the way to Outpost, recycled, and bought a lift. The run home was dangerous. But luckily, I made it. Now that I had a lift, my main focus was farming stone and wood. Because the sooner I had a car, the sooner I could use it to get to outpost safely. Eventually, I was ready, so I started building.
Initially, I started with a 2x2, two two, but then I shrunk it down to a 2x1, because I knew I'd be adding a garage immediately, and I didn't want the base to get too big too quickly. At this point, my base was fairly developed, so I began to bring over items from my temp base to my main base. With my furnaces cooking, I ran over to Outpost to check out a car I had noticed when I was here earlier. The car was armored and I wanted that, so I spawned back at home, added a ramp into my garage, and then went back to Outpost with some car parts and low grade. And then, I brought the car home. Just like that, I was closer to my goals, and I wasn't prepared to rest yet. I needed a solar panel to keep this car left alive, and for that, I would need some tech trash. So my roadside farming continued. accumulating a lot of loot and this was ideal in my case this early and to wipe now that
that my lift was working, I destroyed the chassis and I replaced it with something much smaller and appropriate for a solo. After a few fights, I decided to take the car and recycle at Outpost. This strategy truly works. I had big goals for this wipe in order to research as much as I could. And my goals involved growing things, but we're still not that far into the story yet. Even this early, we were starting to get a lot of scrap and this would pay off very soon. With my newly purchased SAR, I hopped in my car and I headed home. On a BPY, the main focus is scrap, but I always like to remind myself to step back and make sure to always be on top of farming. Because the faster I can get my base up, the less likely I am to get raided. At this point in the wipe, I was ready to honeycomb the base and build out the second floor.
finally had enough scrap and resources for a tier 2. Since I had a SAR, I went ahead and researched it. I was ready for another run to outpost, so I gathered everything I could recycle, and in the middle of the night, I hit the road. The server pop was starting to increase, and I knew I needed to hurry. When the sunshine returned, I hopped into my car, and I disappeared from outpost. Now that I had 556 five, researched, I was finally done with bows. It was time to roam with a SAR.
You're the first one killing me on the server, man. Can you pick me up, please? Thank you, man. When I noticed that things got quiet, I grabbed my chainsaw and I went a little crazy on the trees near my base. Things were going really well, so I decided to grab my SAR and head out for some PvP. Until this happened. That night, I sat in front of the campfire and contemplated what was to come. I wanted to build an empire of hemp, and it was going to take a lot of planning. I didn't have any fresh water near me, but I did have the ocean, and so the plan began to develop. But I was still short on scrap, so I made a trip underground.
I finally had enough scrap to start designing my base for growing hemp. This was the spot, so I tested out some parts that required a perfect elevation of water and land. So far, everything checked out. I was ready to start building my hemp base. Not only did this base need to be cozy, but I also wanted it to be easy to access. So I made another trip to Outpost to research the last items that I would need. If I could get this hemp farm going, I could research every single item I wanted. That is the power of growing and selling hemp. We haven't even scratched the surface of this wipe, so stay tuned for part two because things get crazy. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to my YouTube members. The road to riches is a long one, but eventually we'll get there, and there's an open passenger seat right here for you, dreamer. You've been watching an orange. Dream Production.